Imagine it's result day and you're feeling pretty anxious. You finally muster the courage to check your grades and lo and behold, it's not good news. You've got an F in not just one, but two classes. So maybe math and art history aren't your strong suits, but does that mean you're not smart? Remember, your GPA isn't the only way to measure your intelligence. Back in 1983, there was this American developmental psychologist named Howard Gardner, and he came up with this idea about nine different types of intelligence that people can possess. Each of these types represents an area where you might shine, and it's totally possible to excel in more than one. Let's take a look at Howard Gardner's nine types of intelligence and see which ones resonate with you. Number one, naturalistic intelligence. Do you find yourself fascinated with the natural world, noticing patterns and categories in nature that others overlook? Do you love exploring the outdoors, identifying different species of birds, trees, and wildlife? If so, you likely possess strong naturalistic intelligence. This is the ability to recognize flora and fauna, understand ecosystems, and spot connections in the natural world. Naturalistic intelligence allows forest rangers to navigate remote woods, botanists to catalog exotic plants, and marine biologists to intuit the behavior of sea creatures. We all use this intelligence to some degree. It's what helps us distinguish between a maple and an oak tree or know that a bee is different from a wasp. But those with exceptionally high naturalistic intelligence have an almost uncanny knack for understanding and relating to the natural environment. They can glance at a bird or insect and instantly know what it is. They have a sixth sense for changes in the weather and shifts in ecological patterns. If you find yourself wanting to spend more time outdoors exploring and observing nature, you probably have lots of naturalistic intelligence waiting to blossom. Number two, logical mathematical intelligence. For those with strong logical mathematical intelligence, the world is a vast puzzle waiting to be solved. Numbers, patterns, and equations are intimately woven into the fabric of the universe, there for the discovery. While some recoil from math and logic, those gifted with logical mathematical intelligence thrive on the thrill of cracking complex cryptographic codes, finding solutions to algebraic conundrums, and understanding the logical underpinnings of philosophy. The numerically inclined sea beauty in the numerical precision of physics formulas, the recursive patterns of fractals, and the elegant symmetry of mathematics. They perform calculus for pleasure, read statistics textbooks for leisure, and geek out over new algorithm discoveries. For mathematical minds, no proof is too large to tackle, no puzzle too complicated to decipher. Life is an endless parade of patterns waiting to be untangled. So, if you dream in digits and logic gives you goosebumps, your logical mathematical intelligence may be blossoming, eager to decode the mysteries of numbers, science, and reasoning. The mathematically inclined walk among formulas the way art lovers meander through paintings. Number three, existential intelligence. Do you contemplate humanity's biggest questions? Those with existential intelligence ponder the meaning of life, the significance of death, the nature of love, and our purpose in the universe. While many shy away from such profound inquiries, individuals with existential intelligence embrace examining life's deepest mysteries. Philosophers, spiritual leaders, and thinkers often exhibit this intelligence through their curiosity about our existence. Their introspection allows them to explore life's greatest riddles. Number four, interpersonal intelligence. If other people fascinate you, and you can sense what others feel as if their emotions are your own, you likely have high interpersonal intelligence. Those gifted with this intelligence have their finger on the pulse of human relationships. They intuitively understand what makes people tick, what brings them joy, and what causes them pain. While some find interacting with others perplexing or draining, those with interpersonal intelligence thrive on making connections. They are able to build trust, forge strong bonds, and mediate conflict with ease. Teachers, counselors, religious leaders, politicians, and diplomats often exhibit high interpersonal intelligence, allowing them to connect with people from diverse backgrounds. Number five, linguistic intelligence. Do you have a way with words? If language lights up your mind, you likely have strong linguistic intelligence. 
Your vocabulary is rich, your grammar intuitive. Articulating your thoughts comes easily to you. You construct well-formed sentences, deconstruct arguments with verbal reasoning, and persuade others through rhetorical skill. You have an innate gift for self-expression through the precision and creativity of language. Conversations energize you. Explaining ideas, telling stories, and playing with words is satisfying. Your linguistic intelligence allows you to illuminate concepts, inspire people, and convey nuanced meaning. Reading provides you joy, expanding your wordplay. The realm of words is your home. Those gifted in linguistic intelligence include writers, poets, lawyers, speakers, and translators. Their love of language underpins their vocation. Number six, bodily kinesthetic intelligence. If you are bodily kinesthetic intelligent, then you likely express yourself best through movement and physicality. Your mind-body connection is refined. You have fine control over your body and can move with grace, fluidity, and impeccable timing. You pick up new sports quickly, move adeptly through space, and have an innate spatial awareness. You utilize your whole body to convey complex emotions and ideas. As someone with bodily kinesthetic intelligence, you excel at dance, athletics, acting, surgery, and crafts. Your movements are eloquent and poetic, and you achieve self-actualization through physical expression. Number seven, intrapersonal intelligence. Have people always called you quiet? You consider yourself a deep emotional thinker. You are probably at one with yourself. Your mind is your safe haven, and you understand your thoughts and feelings on a deeper level than most. You're aware of who you are and what you want, and you know how to change yourself for the better. You can motivate yourself by being your own motivational coach. You make goals and can achieve them faster and easier because of how attuned you are with what you want and accepting of who you are. If you have intrapersonal intelligence, you might make a great psychologist, philosopher, or spiritual guide. Number eight, spatial intelligence. Do you think in 3D? Are you endlessly fascinated by maps, puzzles, and visual patterns? If so, you likely have strong spatial intelligence. Your mind intuitively comprehends physical space and dimensions. You can mentally rotate objects, navigate new environments with ease, and visualize things from different perspectives. You may have been the kind of child who could spend hours stacking blocks or assembling models. As an adult, you likely have excellent orienteering skills and a keen eye for detail. Driving, packing luggage, and even decorating a room probably comes naturally to you thanks to your spatial smarts. Careers in design, architecture, visual arts, engineering, and geometry align well with this intelligence. Number nine, musical intelligence. If you hear rhythm in everything and music resonates deeply in you, you likely have strong musical intelligence. You have an innate musical ability, a sense of pitch, melody, and beat. Music stirs your emotions effortlessly. You may play instruments, sing on key, or compose songs with natural skill. Music lives within you. It transcends words. Careers as musicians, vocalists, or producers would fit you perfectly. Yours is the gift of musicality. As we've delved into the nine types of intelligence, have you identified your unique intelligence? the one that can propel you to create something exceptional? Remember, history shows that great minds are often those who think outside the box and recognize their unconventional field of intelligence. If none of the intelligence categories resonated with you, don't be disheartened. You might be the one to define the 10th type of intelligence, paving the way for others. If you find this video helpful, please consider liking it and subscribing to our channel. Stay connected as we delve into the topics that matter.